guys, so today I'm going to show you a quick way to add some detail to a cheap IKEA dresser. I had gotten this dresser and I really hated the legs because almost all their, their dressers come with just this straight leg and this dresser is upside down so it might be a little hard to visualize but we're focusing on the leg part and instead of cutting it off and buying another leg, I decided to try something to give it a like a curved detail. And when we lived in Pennsylvania, we lived in an old house and the flooring had a gap. So we need, and it was, we had a circular step that needed molding to go around it. So to get the molding to curve, we soaked it in water and it's just a thin molding. This is, I think it's called a screen molding and it's less than $5 at the hardware store. So if you soak it, it bends easily. So you can bend it to the shape that you want. So I'm going to bend it into like a, a curve line to give the front of the dresser more detail. So we'll bring you closer in and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I have set this here and you want to put a few nails into it just so that it holds because when you're bending it, you know, you don't want it to pop off. And then a few nails in the center to hold it. So you're going to do this on each side and you can just see how it gives it like a curved profile. And so when you get to the end here, instead of cutting the wood off short, what I like to do is just take a razor blade. So I've already cut this, but if it was taller, I would just use a razor blade and chip, like cut it a few times and then break it off. And that way it's straight and it, uh, and it gives a, a clean finish.